guys just falling behind Bravo. Canada had a pretty extraordinary fire season here in, in not just Quebec, but uh, in, in other provinces as well. We're here in Val d'Or, Quebec, Canada, which is just outside the fire zone, about 400 miles northwest of Montreal. We've been working with officials to see what these U.S. crews are up against. Obviously, a 1.5 million acre fire, but also working with French speaking Canadians with this language barrier, all working together to battle the fire. You can hit me on Simplex 12. It's that time where you got to really, like, tenacity's got to start showing in you, and you got to just really keep your keep your head moving forward because it's not the most exciting. It's It can be pretty slow, and we're getting coordinates. You know, we're flying it, finding coordinates in a helicopter. We're sending people out to these little spots, and, you know, but it is the most important part of the job. Canada has been dealing with wildfires since March. The fires have been so intense that smoke has affected the air quality of other provinces and some parts of the U.S. According to the Canadian Interagency Forest Fire Centre, there are currently more than 1,000 active fires in Canada with 12.1 million acres burned. Now we're just trying to uh, access all the areas that are still hot and put it out basically and uh, leave, this, uh, leave this whole fire in a, in a place where we can uh, walk away and the local resources can take it over. At this fire in Quebec, a million and a half acres have been scorched, and in this time of crisis, there is a need for resources and aid from other countries. At this location, about 400 miles north of Montreal, a combination of Canadian, U.S., and South Korean crews are battling the blazes. So where are you based out of now? Uh, I'm based out of Fairbanks, Alaska. How long have uh, the Wyoming hotshots been here? Uh, here on this fire, 13 days. U.S. crews have been here for nearly three weeks and trying to contain the fire. We're told at this location there are more than 100 U.S. wildland firefighters from 20 different states, primarily Missouri, Idaho, and Wisconsin. What is uh, probably the most difficult thing, you know, being doing this, doing yeah, this kind of work? That's a great question, Thomas. So people spend a lot of time away from home. And it used to be a day where we didn't have cell phones. You could call home easily and check in. So we really spend a lot of time thinking about the human factor the connection that people have with their families and making sure they have time to stay in touch with their loved ones. For some people it's the, the family that they're leaving behind, uh, for some people it's the long hours, for some people it's the hard work. Um, I, I think that's a super personal question and it's yeah, different for everybody. According to the U.S. Forest Service, since May 8th around 2,000 U.S. personnel have been shipped to Canada. Currently, there are 581 Americans assigned to multiple Canadian provinces, all working through language barriers and sharing tactics and resources. What's really neat about it is working with different people with different languages. Here we have three spoken languages with interpreters. Has that helped the U.S. learn any new, any new tactics? Or yeah, it's like always that? great to work with different people from different countries because we learn new techniques that other people use. While we have our standard procedures, we're able to learn from others and how they might do their work. Due to safety, we were only allowed access to burned areas and to see crews doing arguably one of the most important jobs when it comes to containing the fire, and that's checking for hot spots. Our mission is to seek out the campfires, the little fires on the edge that have potential to escape if the weather conditions pick up. So the potential of the hot spots that we don't find on the edge left there to smolder under their, the right conditions can pick up and keep burning again. But it's important for these crews to help out our neighboring country because this wildfire season isn't slowing down and it's only a matter of time before we may need the same help. You know, they're, they're in need now and so we're happy to help. Uh, we. We're, we might be in need next year, you know, or maybe even later this year. And so it's always nice to uh, stay close with our neighbors. I mean, we're all, we're all in this together. Thomas Hoppo, Scripps News, Quebec, Canada.